week's Music Monday is a captive edition with Gona's Black and White. Um, I don't think it's Gona. I think it's Gina. No, it's Gona. Why would you even think that? Okay, so F cuz is pronounced focus. So wouldn't G na be pronounced Gona? Uh, uh, oh. I do see your point, but I'm pretty sure it's Gina. No, it's Gona. Finally, this whole freaking year we've had nothing but a sausage fest on Music Mondays and I'm glad that we're finally reviewing a girl. Hey Simon, you know what's coming out next week? What? Big Bang! No! So this song is a big change from the releases of 2011 so far. It's really cute, it's really fluffy. I could see this as like a hit song for some Korean romantic comedy. So the concept behind Black and White is that, you know, couples have differences. Yeah, I totally get that. You know, Simon and I have differences too. One of us likes ranch, one of us really hates ranch. One of us loves hot coffee, one of us loves iced coffee. One of us loves Twilight, one of us prefers serious literature. <gasps> Edward! Can't you see that you're killing her? You're killing Bella Edward! Oh my god. Simon, I mean, you've already seen it like three times. You know what's gonna happen. They're gonna end up together. Gosh! You don't understand their love! That was not accurate. I did not cry. Anyways, Gona's video doesn't really seem to match the lyrics or the fluffy feel of the song. It seems to be less about a couple having their differences and more about a selfish, attention-getting, spoiled princess of a girlfriend who constantly harasses her boyfriend. Seriously, there's something wrong with this girl. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about Gina, I'm talking about the character she's playing in this video. It's like her evil twin sister. Let's call her Angie. So the video begins with a couple. They enter the apartment arguing viciously over something and Angie storms out onto the balcony leaving her boyfriend heartbroken in the living room behind. But then, with her back turned, she lets out the most evil looking smile like <laughs> Then, after months in captivity, unable to write songs or read magazines or watch the TV, he finally gets a chance to free himself from the shackles of his captor. Will he make it? Go to this quick point, she's not looking. <laughs> Officer? Okay, hi. I've been held captive here for like six years. I don't know, I, I've lost track of time. And he had the, I got a crazy lady who's kept me back. Oh my gosh, she's awake. <laughs> it's okay, I'm just talking to a friend. It's okay. Okay, officer, please come quickly. The address is... Hello? Hello? <laughs> Oh, oh, you! That's so, that's so sweet. <laughs> Do those things. <laughs> no! She ruthlessly rips out the phone cord from the wall and taunts him with it, swings it in front of his face while he cries behind his four smiles. Crawl on your knees, you little puppet. Smile for your puppet master, you spineless doormat, you. Whoa! <laughs> I'm scared. <coughs> well, on a different note, my favorite part of the video is when Gona walks outside in a snowstorm in her short shorts. That happens a lot in Korea. Man, I love you sometimes, Korea. You're the best. Hey! I mean... So the dance for this song is really simple if you know how to ski. Let me show you. Okay, so I got my ski poles and I got my skis. I'm gonna go skiing, okay? So I gotta pick up speed first, so... Okay, so I'm skiing, all right? This is me skiing. Okay, but guess what? You just pulled out your upper back, so you're like, Oh my God, it's in pain! So this is the Gina dance, okay? But you gotta change directions because you're still skiing. So you're like, oh, oh, my back. Oh my God, my back. And you gotta go straight down the hill to the hospital. Ready? Oh my God, the pain. See? Just like skiing and pulling your back. You're a really bad skier. I don't ski, I snowboard. As for the English of the song, we give this a... Five out of five. Now, there aren't really any sentences in English in the song, just a bunch of words and a couple of phrases, but it's still perfectly well done. Actually, I'm pretty sure that Guna's from Canada and a fluent English speaker, so I hope this trend of five out of five continues with the songs. 
Last week we asked you something that doesn't really matter, that puts someone against, doesn't really matter because it was GD and Top, and GD and Top, blah blah blah, and GD and Top won. Yay, GD and Top! I'm pretty sure that no matter what we put them against, they're always gonna win, because they're gonna win the award for everything for the rest of their lives. What if it's a stupid award? Shut up! For this week's Captive Edition, we ask you where would you rather be held captive? In Guna's dungeon in black and white? Or on Tiara's Island in Ya Ya Ya. Leave your votes in the comments and we'll announce the winners next week. Also, thanks to everyone who requested Guna this week. If there's a song you want to see us do for K-Pop Music Mondays, head over to eatukimchi.com slash request and tell us who we should do a video for. And please don't vote for Big Bang. Big Bang. Don't vote for Big Bang. Big Bang. We've done so many Big Bang songs. Big Bang coming out. <laughs>